there are lots of definitions and maybe to the point of the person who said it's not well defined perhaps it's it's too there are too many different definitions um we've done a lot of reading around this um focused on this particular issue and one of the best definitions we felt came from Janet Goodall a few years ago about four years ago um, many of you will probably know Janet Goodall as an author and um, education academic she she um, defined communication like this based on a lot of prior uh, research a signal passed from one person to another a signal which the second person is capable of understanding and to which they could potentially respond um, so I think from our perspective, the reason this felt very robust um, was the fact that it is necessarily two way. It's not enough to, for one party to just communicate and actually Goodall makes the point very clearly that if one party has communicated such that another party hasn't understood exactly the same meaning, actually they haven't communicated. That just negates the act. Um, but we thought it was just worth mentioning a couple of things here. She, she talks about capable um, of understanding being enough and then goes on to say but to which the other party should or could potentially respond well we, it feels to us as though then there must be an understanding if they're potentially to respond so it's probably slightly stronger than just capable of understanding probably the understanding has to happen um, but also really important to make the point that respond doesn't mean answer uh, doesn't mean react in that way it could just be assimilate um, but certainly that conveyance of meaning from one party to another so that both parties know that it has happened and they have the same meaning consequently um, that's the definition that uh, that worked best for us <laughs>